Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. For all my fellow insomniacs and any time you can't sleep, this video is for you. Actually convenient since that night I didn't fall asleep until 6am, but here's what to do when you can't sleep. I don't turn the light on when I can't get up, but obviously for video purposes I turn my lamp on. I literally do get into different positions trying to figure out what to do, but when you put your legs up against something, it relieves tension in your back so I like that, but most of the time I curl up into a ball and wonder, why the hell do I even exist? But I try to do a deep breathing exercise, and this I learned from Headspace, which is a meditation app. With every breath in through the nose, you count one, and every breath out through the mouth, you count two until you get to ten, and repeat until you reach some sort of peace, or like we all want, you pass out. When I can't sleep and need to do something, I turn on my salt lamp. I prefer this lamp to the overhead lamp that you see above my head because it emits a soothing red light which is better for relaxation. I normally do this before bed, but if I can't sleep I'll do it and it's writing 5 things we're grateful for that day. It really helps to keep things in perspective for me and helps me to focus on positive emotions, something I definitely need especially since anxiety is what keeps me up. You can also journal to get thoughts out of your head. Then, I try to go back to sleep. But, if journaling doesn't help, then I'll get up. Never stay in bed for over 20 minutes because the longer you spend trying to force yourself to sleep, the more negative of a mindset you'll have, and that's not what you want to create in bed. And just like that, it's off, and then it's on. When I'm up, I'll either brush my teeth depending on what time I went to bed, but I stay up really late so it's only been several hours. If not, I'll grab a snack. I'm pretty much always hungry. Good snacks to have are fruits like cherries for natural melatonin, or bananas, nuts and seeds, even dark chocolate. And I always have water. And here I found out that this mix I got from Dwayne Reed has banana chips. And I love bananas. They tell you to stay away from screens when you're trying to relax for bed, but I think it's important to stay off your phone. Going on social media doesn't allow you to relax, and watching things on a tiny screen is going to keep you up for hours. So I prefer to watch things on the PC that and that entertain me. Just make sure that whenever you choose to watch something, it makes you happy. I either watch streams or held on Netflix, which I totally recommend. It's a really, really cute cartoon. Then I give myself a back, neck and back massage. This is what I do every single night before I go to brush my teeth. I take my foam roller and two yoga blocks and I set them up on the floor. I line up the yoga blocks and the foam roller at the top, then I lay on all of them. Because I'm without a device, I grab a magazine and read it while I'm on the blocks and roller. I love to read women's health for workouts and I get to learn about everything that has to do with women. I get pretty inspired. I turn my head to each side to get every part of my neck and bottom of my skull. This feels so good. After that, I brush my teeth to get ready for bed. Normally, I stay up for a couple hours before I get really sleepy. It happens when you've gotten some food in your system. To keep me company, I listen to music on my iPad. I don't use it for anything else. This helps me to stop looking at a screen before bed. I always turn the ceiling lights off and turn my salt lamp on before I go to brush my teeth to set the ambiance for sleep. And so that when I return to my room, my eyes relax. This is something that I've done for the past 5 years every single night, and that's turning on the AC fan, AC in the summer. If you're super sensitive to noise, I recommend getting something that creates the perfect sound for you to fall asleep to. The AC fan works every single time for me. If not, you can get a humidifier, which emits a sound and also delivers moisture to you and purifies the air for easier breathing. The humidifier I have has an LED face so I block it with two giant post-its. Make sure your room is pitch black at night to prevent light from disrupting your sleep. I hope you take tips from this video to help you whenever you find it impossible to turn your mind off and sleep. I have a blog post on 10 tips to manage insomnia and I'll leave a link for it down below. I wish you the best of luck. I know what you're going through and I'm here for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a night routine. I have a mindful night routine in mind to do. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video and follow me on my platforms. I'm sending you peace and light and restful nights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.